guys, welcome to Snow. Where are we? Snohomish. Snohomish, Washington. Snohomish, Washington. Now, guys, so you know the camera's right there. And so if we stare at that camera, we'll be able to. They'll think we're staring at them. <laughs> oh, thanks for the heads up. <laughs> I'm staring so, yeah. at you. So, <laughs> you know, I, I think I have there. this. I, I think I have this one. So, we as sisters were wondering. Um, or the royal we. I was wondering if uh, we crazy girls were the only ones having the thoughts we were having. And I figured, well, one way to test that out is to share our crazy thoughts and where we're at <laughs> with our or, or their fellow family members, global witness or else like-minded family members. So just to give you a tidbit taste of what we're up to, and by the way, that heavy machinery you hear, it's heavy machinery. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with that. So, uh, first of all, we're at uh, the great, wonderful estate of what is, who is otherwise known as Love Ninja on Discord. What's up, Love Ninja? Yeah. Uh, this is Divine Renegade. Who Hi. has her own channel. And uh, a few days ago, I asked you what your channel was about. Are you ready to answer that? Yes or no? It is peer supported recovery and life change and societal change and positive progress with somebody with some experience to help you along the way. <laughs> there you go. And this is... There's climbing. a video on my channel about what we do. It's called Let's Go Climbing and it's also posted in Discord if anybody wants to check it out and see why I say that you're climbers. So let's climb together. Now, Love Ninja, we're in your grand estate here in Washington state of so I would like to uh, some of the things that you've been working on that that you would like to um, Put out there into the ether and see if, whether you're going through it alone is helping other people feel like they're not alone Or maybe there's some advice out there or maybe some advice you'd like to give like what does your heart tell you right now? Just breathe that in and see What comes out? Uh oh. <laughs> you gotta be real here. You gotta be real here. Oh and there's no goodness. judgment here. And uh, or it could be a, a topic of interest that sparked oh, your I interest. I do. I do. I've been. This is like a deep lesson for me that you know it doesn't really matter um, when it's about me having to do the work and doing the changing. It's not other people that need to do the changing. And the moment that I accept that, that's when everything changes. It's that uh, letting go of the resistance. And then it's acceptance. And when I think about resistance and acceptance, in my uh, experience, it has been when we quote-unquote give in and surrender. That's when um, we recognize that the boundaries that we have set for ourselves only belong to ourselves that we can't uh, force them on other people and the real change can happen quicklier. I mean, we all want that divine, like beautiful moment in time when everything clicks in together and it's like unicorns come out and butterflies flutter around and rainbows appear and <laughs> peaches. <laughs> yeah, peaches and cream. Mm -hmm. but, um, but the reality is, uh, in my experience, change has occurred when I've done something different. And when that different has come about, from a core place of this is what I need or this is what I'm going to try um, that I can only be uh, responsible for the outcome and make myself responsible which means I make changes quicker mm -hmm. or I stand by the sovereignty of what my experiment has caused me to come to terms with in regards to it feeling good or feeling not good or, or um, and either way you have to be responsible for it yeah so and I figured out something really uh, profound that it's actually empowering to take responsibility for yourself and your actions and how you make other people feel or how you feel it's empowering to do that because you're you're not the victim anymore you are taking that and that allows you to be the one to change you're not leaving that up to anybody else you're not at, at their mercy you have an active role in your creation of your yeah next step yeah your future. And if you slip back, well, you can say, well, I did it on my own, you know, very Frank Sinatra-ish. 
<laughs> did it my <laughs> way. Oh when, my what goodness, is, did you guys <laughs> script that? <laughs> no. No, it's just a really popular song. Oh, wait, for those of you who want to know where, how Keena's doing, there oh, she is. Oh, those are my dirty underwear. Those I mean, are clean. clean. Those They're clean. dirty. They're clean. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what did you feel you have, do you have to say anything about uh, creating your own path? and taking responsibility for that path and some of the experiments that you might be playing with in order to uh, come to terms with what that path means to you or anything of that arena. Um, my path is currently in some inside work on how I, how I handle myself <laughs> in situations that aren't really any different than they've always been. It's just a matter of me maintaining balance and learning how to go through those. So um, you're reacting as opposed to responding? No, I'm responding as opposed to reacting. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> but I'm not actually responding much at all. It's more of a processing. Um, you know, it hits the whole solar plexus, goes to the heart, comes to my mind, back to the heart, and then I determine what goes on here. And that's where we stop. <laughs> Is that an easy path or do you slip a lot? That's a very hard path. It took a long time to even figure out that it was a path because it's contrary to everything. I mean, we learn things in segments. Go with your gut. Follow your heart. Don't overthink. But nobody ever puts it all together as to, like, the process. A functional. A functional balancing process of decision-making because it actually does involve all those components of our humanity to make a love-conscious-based decision and learn, you know, what we do and don't say and don't judge it and you know all the holding that thought captive before we go forward it, it's a huge process and we we break and we learn them in once in steps little bits at a time and then eventually the picture comes together okay so just just from what i'm trying to put it in an active word so we don't become those taglines we actually like how do how do you put this in action um well the basics would be finding out what the characteristics of what type of person you want to be is um, if you haven't done that if we haven't done that um, we have a, a, a very strong <laughs> step to take if we're going to get anywhere what is our moral uh, playground consist of like what are our boundaries to what we are willing to accept and what we're willing to uh, give we're talking about boundaries today yeah and we defined it and we made sure to drive that one home a few times and if if I haven't I should well it's about you should remind uh, my understanding oh, of and it then Van wanted to and say Van something. wanted to say something you better get out here son come on okay do the boundaries because that the was boundaries, so important the uh, boundaries it took about a year and a half for me to recognize what a boundary was from the first time that my ex-husband said hey you don't have any boundaries to the time with every psychologist and every shrink said you need boundaries what are your boundaries what are your boundaries and i was like i don't know what my boundaries are and then i came to realize that boundaries are those things that you're willing to accept and 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 both in a giving and what you're willing to take what you're willing not to receive um if you think that a boundary is someone that is something that you can put on to somebody else's free will and you can that, that depends if they do this and if they do that then I'll be okay and my boundary will be met and if they cross that boundary then I'm then it's their fault that my boundary was like completely bulldozed over no that's not how it works uh, a boundary is something that you yourself are willing to partake in take part of um, uh, where you say this line I will not cross this line I will not allow others to cross. And if others try to cross this line, I will not put it on them. I will simply step out of the way and no longer be within range of that line because it affects me negatively. So if that means you have to move away from somebody or somebody uh, is, is what it comes down to. You can't say, I want you to move if you cross my boundary again. That's not how it works. It's, it's you are in charge of your own boundaries. Other people are not get to say have a say in it. Um, just like you don't get to say, have a say on other people's, um, uh, what, the, <laughs> in other words, you have to take responsibility and either move yourself away from something or step yourself closer to something, depending on the situation. You can't put it on other people to step closer to you or step away from you. Does that make sort of sense? I hope that made sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Kind of, that kind of makes sense. I thought so. So in other yes. words, you, a boundary is not, <laughs> this is Van Diesel. Van yeah. Diesel, what's up? Van so, Axel. do you, Van Axel, do you know what, um... A boundary is? Uh, yes, it's something that you cannot do. 
that you will, uh, what about if I want to cross your boundary? Does that mean you move so I don't cross it? Or do you have to make me move for having crossed it? I might have to make you move it. That would be the opposite of it. That means you have to remove yourself from the situation so that you will not be affected negatively by it. Okay. If you're trying to push me out of your way, that means that we're in a fight. And that becomes a fight, not you trying to keep a boundary up. Does that make sort of sense? Yeah. I like how you put if it an eight-year-old can get it, <laughs> we should all be able to get it. I've so, explained it as yeah. I've explained it often as fence lines. You know, your your yard is fenced. The child goes out into the yard, and they know that if they know. stay within the confines of that fence, they're within those boundaries. They're safe. They step outside of that fence, outside of those boundaries. They're probably going to get some attention that they weren't expecting from their parents. So the fence line doesn't move. The expectation of the fence line and the purpose of the fence line and the intention of the fence line do not change. It's how we interact with the fence line that matters. Interesting point of view. Now, we're going to close this video off because we have to keep them short, folks. We tried to go live earlier, and if you all saw my face there going live with <laughs> Divine Renegade and Ninja and then saw nothing happened... We're kind of in the sticks. <laughs> where we don't know what happened, but it didn't work. So we're doing it this way. But um, is there anything you'd like to share from your little heart to the world? Like, for example, just for example, um, ever since uh, our friend Leanne and, and Divine Renegade here and Siri here showed up to your pad, has it been a good thing? Yes. Oh, thank goodness you said yes. Yay! <laughs> that could have said so sideways you on could, that one. Because kids, kids will tell the truth. So uh, we hope that, that we continue to be a positive. And how has it been a positive for you, young one? Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Was it more entertaining? We aim to please, folks. We aim to please. <laughs> but now from your heart to the random people that will watch this, and maybe a child that will watch this around your age. Mm. You're eight, right? What do the eight-year-olds of the world have to say to YouTube? Um, I do not really know. What's the best thing that's helped you get along with other kids? Um, having fun. Having fun, ladies and gentlemen. Being a child. Having fun. <laughs> do we all hear that? Fun. Learn to have fun and you will get along better <laughs> with other people. Be like small children. <laughs> Love. And what's your name, yeah. young one? Is that a Maddox? Look at what he painted. Maddox, let me see what you what you painted. Can you show us what you painted? Come on, Maddox, show us what you painted. Oh! Wow, that's wonderful. She says I have something on my tooth. <laughs> <laughs> so to yes, show it I to did. the world. Maddox, did you have fun painting that? <laughs> Once again, two for one. Fun, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Learn to have fun. Love you guys. Bye. Uh, bye. 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 <laughs>